Hi hey everyone, your Pyral here with some more Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. Last episode, we saved the Almia region. We put a stop to Team Dim Sun and Altru's plans to use the Shadow Crystal to control all the Pokemon in the region, and we made Blake Hall, the president, see the error of his ways. So now that that's done, it's time for us to start the post game by being woken up by our little sister here. You woke up easier than I thought. We just slept in our uniform, I guess. Are you sleepy? Operation Brighton was a week ago, but the Almia Times is still writing about it. It really was something special, wasn't it? Top Ranger saves Almia. That, that's us. We we captured a Darkrai. Then we rode home. Ultra Inc. was Team Dim Sun, President Blake the Mastermind. Ultra Tower revealed as Giant Giga Remo. And a hearty thanks to all Rangers. Mom was calling for you downstairs. So, did we, like, just take the entire week off? If so, I mean, I would say we earned ourselves a nice little vacation from that. Oh, hi, good morning. Did you wake you up again? I told her to let you sleep some more. It's only because this one's such an early riser herself, isn't it? Chairperson Irma called. She wants to see you at the Union. She said it wasn't urgent, though. I wonder what it's about. It must feel good to know that you're needed. Take care. And off we go to the Union. So the post-game. There's quite a bit to do in the post-game. I'll, I'll get more to that once we're done talking to Irma, but... Yeah, this is gonna... Be, there's... There's a lot. Trusty rested well, dear. Compared to the HQ, took longer than we expected. Oh, that's probably why, like, they gave us, like, a week off. Because, you know, Team Dim Sun did blow a hole through our second floor wall. Well, in recognition of your work in Operation Brighton, we are now Ranger Rank 10. Which is very exciting. Doesn't really mean much. We don't really get anything unlocked from becoming Rank 10. But, it's still cool. I also have a small gift. We got something! It's an entry pass to the Capture Arena. The Capture Arena is a place where one can test one's skills. Go and try it out. I will not be doing that just yet. But that is something I do plan on showing off. It's where that's well. Let's have you search for it. It would be like a game for a change, wouldn't you agree? I'll give you a hint. It's somewhere in this world. You of all people should have no trouble finding it. Incidentally, though the Altru incident came to a safe conclusion, a ranger's job isn't finished. There still remains the responsibility of protecting Pokemon in nature. Also, there's another challenge that, so far, none have beaten in Almia. The race to completely fill the browser. Yep, we're, we have quite the uh, the lead on that. We, we've we captured every Pokemon available so far. At least I'm pretty sure that are available in the main story, so yeah. You can now check your ranger record on the ground floor of this HQ building. Yes, that, that was shown right at the very end of last episode after the credits were done. And what you were saying, uh, there being new great or new additions, uh, it mainly just means there's going to be some new Pokemon in old areas. But right off the bat, there are going to be a ton of quests to do. There's, I think, 17 right now. I'm counting right. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, let's start from there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen quests, and there's twenty left. Uh, there's a, the last three are gonna be unlocked after finishing other quests. Um, Rhythmy here, for example, has one, which I'm not gonna do just yet. And I think there's one quest in here. No, it's not you. It's from Murph. Murph has a quest that's going to require you to capture a lot of things. But um, yeah, I I'm going to be doing some quests here in this episode. Not all of them, but a good majority of them. Let's see what... Let's actually uh, find one. There's one here in particular that I think would be nice. Not the fourth Ranger Cup. 
Not that one. Ooh, Electro Pokemon I need for research. Not that one, but... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ultra Park. Nope, not that one. I'll start with this one. So, I, I just need to find the old man. And, uh, right down here where the Ranger records are... It's right over here if you talk to this lady. Which... This was, again, shown off at the last episode, but it's, uh, it's neat data to take a look at. And, yeah. Let's see. Old man, where, where are you with quest? There's, there's gonna be a ton of quests to do around here. Not you. Actually, I'll keep you in mind, so that's one I could actually get a start on. By capturing some Star Raptor here. There, there's gonna be a lot of quests in the post game where you're gonna have to capture a lot of Pokemon. Sometimes, like, enough to fill up your entire, basically, like, friend list slash party full of Pokemon. So, you wanna be mindful of that. So, there's one for you. You! Over at the Peril Cliffs, I saw my chop hefting a boulder bigger than itself. It must have been in training or something, using that huge boulder like a barbell. I watched my chop train from morning. The sun was warm and pleasant. I must have fallen asleep when I heard this huge boom. That woke me up like a shot. I looked around and saw the boulder, but there was no sign of that Machop. Could be under the boulder. Young Pokemon Ranger, maybe, just maybe. Mmm, okay. Sure, let's check it out. Probably gonna need a field move for this, and I don't really have any... Pokemon with me, but oh well. Can I not like jump down here? Fine, I'll just meet you over at the Peril Cliffs. Thought I could jump down from that ledge up here. Very inconsistent that the game can let you jump down some ledges and not others. So I'm at the Peril Cliffs, and here is an example of a new Pokemon that you could find here. If you climb up these vines, this is a couple screens into Peril Cliffs. You can find just an Aerodactyl flying around. So, um, let me capture you, because this is, I believe, the only spot that you could see Aerodactyl. And Aerodactyl likes to just fly around. I think it can launch a beam from its mouth. Yeah. That's, um, neat. I, I just find it interesting that Aerodactyl is just out here chilling. I hope it has a field move that I could make use of. I can also do that. Nope, don't do that. Okay, hello, welcome, welcome to the the party. You do have level four crush. There is a rock here that I that would make navigating around Paracliffs easier if I destroyed it, but eh. I need to find the Machop. So, over on this screen, this is to the east of where I just was. There's Machop. Okay, I can use Aerodactyl to get rid of this boulder. So, just go down here. Am I in the right spot? I think it's up here. Yeah. No, 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 not you, Larvitar. No, Larvitar, leave me alone. Not, not you, Aerodactyl. Fine, I'll, I guess I'll capture Larvitar because you have the ground-type Poké Assist. I don't think I best ranked Larvitar, so there's my chance to make up for that. Gosh, that's not a lot of experience now. I think, I don't even think the experience bar moved. It maybe make it move the pixel from that. Wait, yeah, Larvitar has a ground-type Poké Assist, I think. Anyways, destroy that with a beam. If only I could destroy boulders with beams, that'd be so cool. I'm not talking about like in the game, I'm talking about like in real life. Okay, Machop here is a fighting type, so if you have a flying type Pokemon here, that'll help. I have you. So, um, do your thing. Okay, do your th thing. You can launch Aura Spheres, which is weird, because that's not a move that a Machop can learn normally. 
Seven damage? How? You're just a Machop. Eh, oh well. Okay, so there we go. That is Machop down. And it does not have a field move. So, if it wasn't obvious, Machop here is actually our next partner Pokemon. Which is interesting, because, um... Is there a 4th gen fighting type that would have, like, been a better choice for a, for a fighting type partner Pokemon? Riolu, maybe, but then the little thing in Almy Castle where you need to catch two Riolu would not have worked. So, I guess... Metatite is not a 4th gen Pokemon, but a 4th gen gym leader has Metatite. Or Metacham, really. No, is it? No, Maylene has Metatite, I think. I don't know. But there we go. Machop is now a partner Pokemon. And now, there's one more uh, thing I want to capture while I'm here. Because this is going to be useful for another quest. Just uh, right over this way. If you remember, this area here is where the Team Dim Sun people were using their machine. They're, yeah, they're, they were using a mini Remo at this point in the story. Because uh, Rampardos is here. Yep, a lot of Pokemon that were boss Pokemon in the story now show up just all throughout Almia. Um, you have the Rock-type Poké Assist. Okay. Fine. The reason why I want to capture Rampardos is because it has a, a field move that no other Pokemon will have. Okay. Oh, hello. Don't hurt me, please. Okay. There we go. That is... A little... Rampardos down. And it has... Oh, we got an A rank on that initially. Nice. Level 5 Tackle. There's only one obstacle in this game that requires level 5 Tackle, and it is part of a quest, which is why I wanted to do that. So, I, I'm i capturing this Star Raptor here uh, in Altru Park. I'm not using Fly right now because I want to gather as many Star Raptor as I possibly can. So, I'm, I'm just going to quickly jump cut to that as I go on the way to where I want to do the next quest. East of Altru Park. Here in Chroma Road, there's another Star Raptor. Because, again, I'm trying to capture a lot. So that puts us at three. And then, also in Chroma Road, near the Chroma Highlands, is Star Raptor number four. That should be four. Four. I can count. So technically, I took a bit of a detour. Because I'm not supposed to be, like, in the Chroma Highlands area. I'm right near the entrance to the Chroma Ruins, but there is another Star Raptor. There's just a lot on the way here, and I figured I might as well do this. But, yeah. That's Star Raptor number 5. And there's also a new Pokemon in this area. Right over here, there is an Altaria. So, let me just capture you. And... Get an S rank. You know what? Good opportunity to show off Machop's Poke Assist. Even though I don't really need it. Also, for some reason, Altaria makes Cloud or Triangle show up. I don't know how that works. Because I don't associate Altaria with triangles. But okay. Thank you, Machop, for giving me an extra boost in damage, I guess. On the way to the Ranger School, this is going to be Star Raptor number 6. I want to say I only need 6 Star Raptor, but I might need 7. I'm not exactly sure, I don't remember. But, yeah. Number, uh, number six, right here. I'm back here in the ranger school because if we go over here to the principal's office, or the staff room, I think it's the staff room, 
Principal Lamont has a quest for us. Can you keep a secret? It's about a secret, actually. A secret only known to three people. The three are Professor Hastings, Chairperson Irma, and me. We three would like to share a secret with someone much younger. And that younger person, that would be you, Ralph. Would you like to know about the secret we share as a trio? Sure. Very well, you may consider this a quest. First a hint, on the east side of the schoolyard at the south end, there are stairs. Yes, it's Ascension Square. In it stands the Pledge Stone. That's all I'm willing to tell you. Off you go. I must have guessed, I'll entrust with you the key. So we have a key for whatever this quest involves. But yeah, Ascension Square, not that far from here. We could take a leisurely stroll, remember where we came from, where this whole adventure started here in the ranger school. It's uh, it's been a while since, since the school days of this Let's Play. But anyways, not you, Badoo, I don't need you. Down here into Ascension Square. This is the reason why I wanted to catch Rampardos. Or capture as a technical term, because if you examine the, uh, the Pledge Stone, we can actually use level 5 tack- No, not you, Star Raptor. No, not you, Star Raptor. There we go. We can use level 5 tackle on it. And this will cause the Pledge Stone to move and reveal a little staircase. So, let's uh, take a look at this room. Old notebooks. Bonding with Pokemon, a quantitative analysis of heart. This appears to be Professor Hastings' doctorate paper. Songs dedicated to Pokemon. A collection of poetry by Chairperson Irma from long ago. Pokemon were my teachers. This seems to be an essay written by Principal Lamont. And we, we can take a guess, but this portrait here. There's uh, a boy wearing glasses, a girl with her hair pulled back in pigtails, and a boy wearing a white lab coat. He looks very impatient. Pretty uh, apt descriptions for Irma, Lamont, and Hastings. And then, can't really examine the boxes, but now let's uh, take a look at this book. It's a diary, shared by all three. And this is what the key is for. <laughs> the lock opened. I like the little jingle for that. I am twitching with excitement. I'm very close to figuring out how, how we could communicate our feelings to Pokemon. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Hat Sting. That is wonderful to hear, Hastings. You should slow down. You don't want to be too hasty. Why, you've even misspelled your own name. Irma. So I did. I did misspell my own name. I have to sneeze. Hat Sting sounds like an old fella. Who could this mysterious uh, sneeze? Please don't sneeze on recording. I think I'm good. Perhaps Irma's boyfriend, Hastings. You two get along famously. I'm thinking of education systems that can teach kids properly about Pokemon. My dream is to build a school for that one day. Yes, a school about Pokemon. And that's from Lamont. It's a wonderful dream to have. I hope you'll make that dream come true. It's a dream worth keeping. This is just like a little message book for them and it's pretty cute. Counting on your support too, I finally worked out the concept of capturing Pokemon. The next step is to develop the actual tool for performing captures. This could be a challenge, however. Clearly, they've never heard of Pokeballs, because they've been around. Capture, I have no idea what that is, but I'd like to hear about it when you have time. I may be able to offer your help. Lamont. I'm glad to hear of your dreams. I have a dream, too. It also has to do with Pokemon. I want to actively protect Pokemon and the natural environment. To do so, I suppose I should form an official organization. I wouldn't know where to begin. I have an idea, and it's brilliant! I will develop a device for capturing Pokemon, Lamont will make a school that teaches about capturing Pokemon, and Irma can make an organization for protecting Pokemon and people by using captures in a peaceful manner. The organization would be a gathering of the like-minded. A union, if you will. Maybe our dreams could actually be uh, one dream seen three different ways. Maybe our dreams are the same. Pokemon Ranger. Hey, you like the sound of it? I, it's a name I just thought up. It's a name for someone that uses the capture technique for peace. A ranger uses captures for protecting Pokemon, nature, and people. If that name works for you two, it would set the name my organization to be. 
it would be the ranger union. So Irma is the one that coined the term Pokemon Ranger. That's pretty cool. Pokemon Ranger sounds good. If that works for Hastings, it would also set the name for my school to be. It would be the ranger school, naturally. I concur with Pokemon Ranger. The ranger union and ranger school sounds excellent as well. Also, I spent all night, or all last night, drawing up the blueprints for my capturing device. I shall name it the Capture Loopy Looper. And whatever he spelled his name, it had Ignitus. Capture Loopy Looper. One hopes there would be a better name than that. He also signed off as Hatagnitz. You should get some sleep. Also, exchanging a journal like this is too slow. We need to get together and really talk, the three of us. We should meet at that spot on that small island east of Vientown in the secret underground room that Hastings dug. That's where we'll meet, Irma. Very good of you to find this place. This is where we three gathered to talk about our big dreams. It's also where we pledge support for each other's dreams. How many decades has it been? It brings back memories. You've gotten a peek at my idealistic youth. It's somewhat embarrassing. When would it be now? I remember you, Keith, and Rhythmy pledging to make each other's dreams come true. That would have been at the Ascension Square outside. That scene was like seeing our younger selves all over again. Over decades, centuries, millenniums, we hope our dreams never die. We hope our ideals are passed on without end from generation to generation. That is why we wanted you to see this place, where our dreams began. You represent the future. You give us hope for the future. Don't be pressured by those words. You should do as you've always done by the strength of your own convictions. A capture Loopy Looper. What was I thinking? I like it. And that's another quest clear. It's, it's a cute one where we get to see how these three were when they were younger. Oh, and you just give us the upgrade ourselves for um, Dragon Defense. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. But yeah. That's another quest done. I hope you keep at your quest of making your dreams come true. My thoughts go with you. So, yeah. That's another quest. We have quite a few more that I want to do in this episode. Uh, remember in the past, rekindle my enthusiasm. Back to the lab. There's always more research to be done. Yeah, that, that's a good thing that can come from looking back at old memories. Rekindling enthusiasm for things... And just reflecting on how you were back then. Anyways, more questing. Back in Chicoli Village, we head home. There is a quest for us to do here. From our little sister. Now you're already home. So what is making all that noise upstairs right now? Maybe a robber? I'm scared, big brother. Can you go look upstairs? Sure. Please be careful. I mean, if it is a robber, we do have a flock of birds to sick on him. And I'm a chop, I guess. But no, if we go uh, here, there is a Munchlax in our room. So, um, you might remember, at the very start of the game, Munchlax was one of the three Pokemon that you could choose as your first partner Pokemon. So, if you did not pick Munchlax like I did, it would become available here in the post game. Easy S rank. Has much more health than it would have at the very start of the game, obviously. But this is how you get both Munchlax and the other partner Pokemon that you did not pick. So the, the choices were Pachirisu, Munchlax, and Starly. I chose Pachirisu. There's going to be another quest that we can do in the post game that will give us access to Starly. And yeah, it's not a robber. And if you didn't choose Pachirisu and instead chose Munchlax or Starly as your partner Pokemon initially, then there would be a quest to give you Pachirisu as a partner Pokemon. But honestly, I have never done that quest in the post game at all because I've always had Pachirisu as my first partner Pokemon. So I don't know what that quest would entail. But yeah. And I want to do this quest like decently early on in this episode because I honestly don't want to use Munchlax that much. I'll make Munchlax my partner and use it because 
I've been using all of the partner Pokemon assists so far. But the normal type Poke assist is just not that good. And now our mom has a quest. Um, do I want to do this right now? What would it be? Um, hold up. Is this like gonna be like an easy quest? <laughs> yes, I, I I know what this quest is. Okay, sure. Oh hi, welcome home, dear. You've caught me in the middle of making your father's lunch. By the way, Professor Hastings gave me something called a quest coupon. It says it's redeemable for a quest anywhere, anytime, any way you choose. I think I can put it to use right away. Okay, this is your mother speaking. I'm so busy, so I need someone to read to me the recipe I've taped to the fridge. It's a quest, sure. Only need to read me the note I taped to the fridge. I mean, it's a pretty lackluster quest in terms of like what we can do, but it's a free reward essentially. Mom's soup recipe. Chop delicious fresh vegetables from the partner farm in big chunks. Drop them into a pot of hot water and boil until tender. And that's all. Thank you, sweetie. That's all it took to clear that quest. Boo. <laughs> that's too easy to be a quest. Oh, it's all right, dear. I was tired from work. I, I like how that's... She just wants us to take it easy a little bit. And instead of Rhythmy, it's Professor Hastings. Your mother, that quest po uh, coupon I gave her, she appears to have put it to use, yes? I certainly hope that you did something good for your mother to show you care. Anyway, that's a quest clear. So what's this one? Fighting defense? Okay, sure. Sure thing. Okay. That's another quest done. So... Now, for real, I'm gonna head back to the Ranger Union and capture one more Star Raptor on the way. Luckily, there's one that's, uh, right up here. So... Yeah, this is gonna become Star Raptor number seven. We just have a whole flock of birds with us. Reminds me of in a uh, Route 119 in Hoenn, in the Ruby Sapphire Emerald Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire games. There's just this one random house with like six Wingle inside it, which is a lot. Anyways, back to the Ranger Union. Oh god! Okay, so Wendy is the one I want to talk to for our next quest. Cause, um, yeah. Her guy's been feeling down lately. Oh, I don't want to get any ideas when I say my guy, I mean my star after. During Operation Brighton, he took the Incredible Machine's power full blast. He heard his wings from it. His wounds have healed completely, but he hasn't gotten over the trauma. I think he's lost confidence in himself to fly. I want to remember being wild. I want him to see Wild Star Raptor. I think seeing the Wild Star Raptor will give him the confidence to soar again. Possible. Yup, seven Star Raptor. So, oh, six wild, seven total. Well, good thing I have seven. I mean, do you do you not see these seven here? There you go. I was hoping that, I don't know if this is going to be the case, but like I was hoping that uh, we'd keep the Star Raptor after this quest, because that's seven times of just flying. That would be nice. Show my guy what it's like to fly. That's loud. Yes, that's the way. My guys remembered how to fly again. That's how you do it, Star Raptor. It would have been neat if we got to see, like, Star Raptors, like, not flying in the overworld sprite for Wendy Star Raptor just to show that it's not flying, but. Oh well. Oh, and Munchlax is singing! Cool. My Star Raptor isn't gonna worry me anymore. Thanks, Ralph. We both owe you for this. Do we already have flying defense? If not, this would be a good quest to get flying defense. It is... 
flying. Latent power, okay. Latent power is a bit of an interesting one. Because um, we've, we've gotten it before, but the less HP we have, if our styler goes to the yellow zone, we deal more damage. I'm not really going to be banking on using that a lot because I don't really need it. Anyways, uh, Rhythmy has a quest here, so let's, let's go help Rhythmy out. And there, there's a couple of other quests here, but yeah. I, I, I want to focus on Rhythmy because she's our friend. Is Keith here? Where's Keith? Is he just out doing ranger stuff? He probably is. Oh, you can't go up. Stop, stop. The roses aren't... Oh, yes, you can help us with this. The rose in the rose raid's right hand. What color is it? Red or blue? Uh, that's right, yes. We're arguing over that. Whether a rose raid's right hand is red or blue, we need to know. Honestly, we're really, really fighting over that. Pretty please? Think of it as a once-in-a-lifetime plea. We want you to go capture a rose raid right now. Okay, then. We just have to go uh, into the VN forest for this. Sure. Vienne Forest, it is. Is this path open to us now? Yes, it is. This little shortcut into the Vienne Forest, south of the Ranger Union, is now open to us. Which is very convenient, because I think this is where we need to go. I think Roserade is, like, right around here. If you continue walking along this path along. I don't know, I, I thought I said that weird, but you can find Rosary down here. This is actually close to the cave that has that weird... Nope, don't hurt me. That weird statue also. You know what? The more... The sooner I use you, Munchlax, the sooner I can get rid of you. It's not a good Poke Assist. Because <laughs> this kind of damage that we're doing is negligible. But, there you go, Munchlax. You got your time to shine. And we got ourselves a Rose Raid, so... Yeah. But, um... Th this is the cave that had, I think it was... The rock... Thing? Yeah, the rock statue. Okay. Anyways. Back to the Ranger Union. I'm brought over the Rose Raid, so, um... I'm brought over the Rose Raid. Here you go. Um, Rose Raid? Uh, anyone? Hello? Now, as you can see, the, the, the whole Rose Raid thing was a bit of a, a ruse. We were getting ready for the surprise party. We thought up of that quest so we can keep the party a secret from you. It's quest clear. Okay, everyone, you can come in now. I mean, I'm all for a party. Parties are nice. Oh my, isn't this pretty? And they have both blue and red roses. Party, it's a party, I say. Ooh, I would like to see Professor Hastings drunk. That'd be fun. You set this up by yourselves? It, it's nice of them to do this little thing for us. I'm touched even. Yeah, I'm touched too. Oh, that smells appetizing. There's Keith. Yeah, we got like a little picnic, reusing that picnic asset. This is nerve-wracking. Uh, hello everyone, thank you for attending our party. We, that's Linda and I, want to do something to thank our rangers. It's to show appreciation for their perilous heroics during Operation Brighton. Thank you, Rhythmy. Now in honor of your great success in Operation Brighton. Cheers! I wonder what kind of food they got. I couldn't give this to you earlier because of the party. Here you go. Aw, uh, handing us bug defense. In person. Okay, there we go. Where'd the music go? Oh, there's the music. But yeah, that's another quest clear for us. The next quest I want to do is over here in Boyland. As you can see, I have no, like, co uh, cohesive order in which way I'm doing this quest. I'm just doing this... A uh, volcano cave. There was something odd about it. I kept looking around anxiously. Seeing as if I wanted to say something to someone. Of course, I can't figure out what that Pelipper is trying to say. I would think the Pelipper is waiting for someone like you. Okay, then. 
And I think this is the only quest in the Boyland area, so I might as well get this one out of the way. So, uh, vol Volcano Cave. Is this it? Is this the Volcano Cave side? Yeah, there's Pelipper. Where are you going? Oh, we're, we're doing like a whole thing here. Okay, sure. Since I'm here, I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to capture this Flareon. I've been hinting at this for a while now, but this, this is going to be the time. It's going to be a, the episode where I do this one. So, there you go. Flareon, I have you now. You'll see why. Okay, up here. Pelipper is leading us. This way. So it's not that far into Volcano Cave, which is pretty nice. I think. I think this is pretty much where we want to be. Yeah, there's... There's a Gibble here. So this Gibble, actually, if it was not obvious enough... This Gable is actually going to be our next partner Pokemon. We just need to capture it. And luckily, I can capture it. It's not going to be a difficult capture. Just a few loops, and there we go. This is going to give us access to the Dragon-type Poke Assist, which I've mentioned before, not the best Poke Assist out there. But, I mean... If you're good with it, then it could it could be pretty decent. Yeah, we, we treated the Gibble. And there we go. Another partner. And it's hard to tell judging by the sprite, but I do think that that's a female Gibble. No, it looks like there's a notch there, like at the head fin, so it might be a male. Maybe. It, it, it's hard to tell with, like, how... Um, how small these sprites are. But there we go. Bye, Munchlax. You were used once. And now Gable will also probably only be used once. You have a big partner, Gage. Holy crap. The next quest is going to be right over here at the entrance to Hippowdon Temple. Starly wanders into the temple every so often. Yup, this is where we're going to be getting Starly as our partner. Keeps going farther and farther until he gets stuck. Try catching a couple times so I could set it loose, but I couldn't do it. See, it's really timid. It flees if it sees you coming. Ranger, I think this is a job for you. Sure. I do need to, um, to fill up Gibble's partner gauge. Because I do want to show off Gibble before I switch over to Starly. But yeah, this is indeed how we get Starly. And I will cut to the room where it shows up in. So I am quite a ways into the Hippowdon Temple. This room here with all of these arrow tiles, this is the one that we want to be in. We want to head on over to where Starly is, which is right over this way. No, I can't be getting confused here. There we go. Hello, Bayonet. You're in the way, but I mean, I can uh, fill up Gibble's partner gauge here. And use Gibble. 72 minutes, not minutes, uh, 72 seconds. I know how time works. Come on, walk down this way. Almost. Yeah, the Dragon type Poke Assist just does not cut it. Heh, <laughs> zero damage. You fool. But there we go. That, that's the Poke Assist, which I've already shown off before, but again, I want to show off the partner Poke Assist specifically. So because the Starly is timid, probably has a timid nature, plus speed, minus attack, we have to actually chase it around here until it gets to a specific spot. Not here. Okay, then. Fine. Okay. 
Okay. Both both of those bayonet I captured are gone, so they don't have to bother me. Anyways, I want to go this way over here until Starly again is in the spot I want it to be in, which is right over here. Because as you can see, there's arrow tiles going that way. So go over here. I think it's this one. Yes! Perfect! Okay, Starly. Please do not poop on my head. Okay. This is gonna be... Easy peasy! Oh, I wanted the S rank! Ooh! Seven damage. Okay. It's been a while, but, um... I have used Starly in my Generation 4 playthroughs of the Sinnoh games. Because it's in it's a very good in-game Pokemon that you get very early on. You know, I really look down on Rangers. That's not right, I look up to them. Okay, I was gonna say, that's pretty rude of you to just walk up to and say. Like, imagine just going up to, um, I don't know, a firefighter and be like, I look down on you. Okay, Starly, you have now joined us. Welcome to the team, for now. And while we're here, I want to capture a specific Pokemon. So, Starly. Also, remember this room, because we will be here again, but not, not in a while. Um... I think I want to go this way, over here, ignore you, and then it's this room I want to go into. So I go this way, Gabite, walk somewhere so you won't see me. Gabite, Gabite, there we go. Perfect. Did not want to deal with capturing Gabite. Yeah, I, I just want to go in here and capture the best Eevee evolution again, because... Yeah, that's... We're gonna need it. Please do not... You somehow missed. And I got the S rank, which I would take because, again, I would want to have the best rank possible for the best Eevee evolution. Okay. Anyways, uh, onwards to the next quest. So now I'm in the Haruba village because we have another quest for us here. I saw something weird in front of Hippowdon Temple. Something big and weird was squirming around on the nose of Hippowdon Temple. I don't know what it was. Maybe a tumbleweed? But maybe it might not be a tumbleweed. It could have been a Pokemon even. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take a look at this. If it's a Pokemon, you have to help it. And this is where the issue of the game letting you only accept one quest at a time kind of uh, becomes a thing because I could have accepted this and then the Starly quest because they both would have taken me to Hip Out on Temple, but yeah. Anyways, I just want to make one quick capture here in the Haruba Desert because there is a new Pokemon that shows up here in the post game, which is Flygon. Big boy. Big boy Flygon. You do not move as fast Oh, I don't know how that missed. But yeah, you don't move nearly as fast as a certain other Flygon. Okay, you're ch chillin'. There we go. Oh, you know what? Perfect. Hello, Starly. Show off your twister that you can make to this Flygon. Yeah, mine's bigger. So, ha 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 ha. But, I mean, it is the flying type Poke Assist, so it's not gonna be like that good. It, it can be useful in certain instances, especially against like certain Pokemon that are weak to it, but yeah. Anyways, there's a uh, fly gun. Ooh, level 4 cut. 50 loops, holy crap. 
not necessary. Anyways, hit pad on temple we go. So right up here, on the way to Hippaton Temple, we can see that there is a Hippopotas that shows up once we're like within the vicinity. It's right there at the elevator nose part, so I will meet you there because it's pretty easy to get to. Okay, south of the Claydol Room is the entrance to... Oh, there's the Dusknoir from the Haruba Desert that Blake Hall hinted at in the, uh, in the last episode. Yeah, it shows up in the postgame. But there we go, there's a Hippopotas. Let's capture it, which somehow will stop it from falling. But, yeah. Capture you. No! I want an S rank on this. I don't know why I do, but I do. And there we go. Hippopotas is actually another partner Pokemon. And this is going to give us the ground type Poke Assist, which is not that bad of a Poke Assist. So, definitely want this one. Okay, give me the hippo. I, I like how we get Hippopotas, like, on the face of Hippowdon here in this temple. Okay. You are now our next partner Pokemon. You probably have a big partner gauge. Yeah. Okay, anyways, next quest. So I'm here in the second floor of the Ranger Union because I want to talk to Murph. He's going to be the last quest that I do for this episode. Hmm, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth, uh, the fourth Murph Cup Ranger Contest is now underway. The rule is simple. The first person to bring me all seven Pokemon that evolve from Eevee wins. Technically eight at the time of this recording, but Sylveon didn't exist back then. You heard right, seven Eevee evolutions make you the awesome superstar, I believe. I might be wrong here, but this is the first time in an official Pokemon game that the term evolution is used. So that's cool. The awesome superstar will receive a trophy handcrafted by Mr. Woodward. Not only that, I'll sing my original song, Awesome Superstar, as well. Come ye all, come all you rangers of Pokodom, Pokemon, join me in my contest for superstardom. Yeah, this is why I have captured Espeon and Flareon, cause, just because they were in the area that I was in when I was doing those particular quests. Okay, I want to see the seven of all forms of Eevee at the same time. Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, and Glaceon. Gotta capture them all first to attain awesome superstardom. So yeah, throughout the Let's Play, I've been mentioning the fact that you're going to want to pay attention to the locations of the Eevee evolutions that we have seen. And that is true. We're going to need to capture all seven of them and have them together. And I, I know where they all are. So, um... I'm gonna go for the ones that are a bit more out of the way first, just because some of them are gonna require, like, extra, like, field moves to get to. Because, um, I could have captured Jolteon in the Haruba Village area, but because that's pretty easy to get to and does not require any field moves, I'm gonna save that one for last. So, yeah. Let's, uh, go capture the other Eevee evolutions. Or Eeveelutions, I should say. So, I believe if we go over here, just navigate through this icy area. This is east from, like, the first floor hub room. I believe this should take us to where Vaporeon is. Which is right over here. In Almia Castle, obviously, because I did not see the name of the location. But, yeah, this is where, where the fella is. You should be an easy capture as well. There we go. Also, when did I take so much damage? Was I just not paying attention? I probably was not, because I tend to not pay attention sometimes. But uh, yeah, there's also one more uh, evolution within the nearby area. Not in Almia Castle, but nearby. So I'll head towards that. So this is right outside Almia Castle. What you're going to want to do is capture Empoleon here. And I believe Glaceon, because that's the one I'm going to be going after. Since we are in the cold area of the game. 
I believe Glaceon and Leafeon for that matter will only appear once you've accepted Murph's quest. If not, then they only show up like once the post game starts. But every other EV evolution, like the first five, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, and Umbreon, they are available like within the main story as well. Uh, Jinx, leave me alone. But we just want to go down here. And as you can see, Glaceon is right up there. So in order to get up to this plateau, I know words, we just head over here and just inch our way over here. Easy peasy. Have we captured Glaceon before? I might be wrong on that. We might have. Glaceon might have been here before, but I seem to remember it only showing up in the post game after taking this quest. If the new browser entry screen doesn't show once I capture this, then I've captured it before. Glaceon has such a cool cry. The thing that like stands out to me about it is that out of the Eevee evolutions, it has... I think it does have the highest special attack, maybe tied with Espeon. But uh, it's a cool Pokemon. <laughs> Get it, because it's like icy. No, I'm not, I'm not going to use Hippopotash just yet. Ooh, hello, Beam of Ice. There we go. New entry, I think. Yeah, new entry. Okay, onwards to the next one. Which, well, we have four of them now. So, yeah, we're well on our way to completing this quest. So this room in the Chroma Highlands, Chroma Ruins, actually, we need to find ourselves a Drifloon. Drift Blim, because Umbreon is in these ruins. I'll uh, lead you to where it is if you don't exactly remember. Uh, there was there was a room that required Drift Blim to get to, and there was a door that required Psy Power 3. We don't need Psy Power 3 to get Umbreon, but it is in that area. Um, get rid of you two. Okay, there we go. And now, uh, up we go. Right up here, uh, I believe this is the correct place you want to elevate yourself to. Right. Right. Good old Umbreon. And you know what? Just because you are going to get the Hippopotash treatment. There we go. Take your damage. And give me that S rank, probably? Probably. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, five down, two to go. South of Union Road, again, using this shortcut to the VN Forest. I believe Leafeon is right down here. I'm not exactly sure where Leafeon is in this area, but I believe it should be relatively close. And it's a shame that this is a one-way shortcut because of this waterfall, but oh well. None of these Pokemon can use HMO7. I don't want to uh, land there right now because I don't think it's in this particular part. I think Leafeon is down this way. If I'm wrong, then I will go back up there, but if we go down here, I think Leafeon is in this area. This way? Let me just double check. You know what? I'll, I'll land here just to make sure, because I have a feeling Leafeon is right down here. Leafeon? 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 Oh, Leafeon, there, yes, I am correct. I like Leafeon a lot as well. The generation four EV evolutions are cool. I remember um, specifically when I first played through Platinum, I used Leafeon to take care of the, uh, the cute contest category. How did that miss? But uh, yeah, so there you go. Now, level up? No. All that's left is 
Jolteon, which again, it's in my opinion the easiest one to get. You don't need to make room for any other uh, party members, which is why I save Jolteon for last typically. I mean, you do have to travel a little bit after you get Jolteon, but it's not that bad. Jolteon is right up here past the um, Haruba village. And all you need to do after this is just talk to the sailor in Puel Town, and then make your way over to the Ranger Union. Where, like the other ones, you, you need to dedicate uh, Pokemon to a field move to, or like travel much farther back. So, yeah, you have to go about catching the EV evolutions in a specific, not like a very specific order, but you do need to save something like Jolteon for last. Or, I think you can find Vaporeon in the Ultra Tower, so you could conceivably save that for last, but because there's a Vaporeon and a Glaceon right next to each other in the Hia Valley area, you don't really need to worry about that, but... Yeah, just thought I'd uh, let you keep that in mind. Or you could save Umbreon for last, since you don't need a field move after. I, I think you do, actually. Maybe. But, like, Flareon, you need another... Like, you need a field move once you capture Flareon to get out of the Boyland Volcano. Same with Espeon, you don't, but you need to travel a lot farther with Espeon. Anyways, I'll meet you back over with... Uh, where Murph is now that we have all C seven Eevee evolutions. Okay, Murph, got all seven Eevee evolutions here. There's Vaporeon. You're not going in Pokedex order. This is kind of annoying me with that, but there we go. That is, you know, it would have been neat if uh, they had like the first three Eevee evolutions in the bottom and then the generation two ones. Uh, to the left and right of Murph, and then uh, the Generation 4 EV evolution, uh, evolutions at the top there. But, yeah. That's, um... That's another quest for us. And I wanted to get this one out of the way, because... Seven Pokemon in the party. This is actually probably one of the more, um... Quote-unquote difficult quests in the post-game, just because of all the different places that you have to travel to. And we got a trophy here. What is the trophy? Um, you're singing. Say, what makes an awesome superstar? Someone never says, I surrender. So, I guess that works. Uh, is awesome superstar someone cool? So cool, you'll want to drool. But awesome isn't everything. Boo! There's amazing kindness to go with too. Eh, it's alright. You're not even done with the first verse. There are 102 verses in- Wow, you- That's a long song! Oh, you know what? It would have been cool if we got to see uh, Murph's quest complete uh, animation from the first Ranger game. But, yeah. That's another quest done. And for this, we're gonna get... Time Assist. Okay. It, it extends Poke Assist time, which is not that bad. I'm already planning for my fifth Rancon. Rancon stands for Ranger Contest. I hope you'll take part again. I'm going back to work now. Okay, bye, Merv. And we get to keep all uh, seven Eevee evolutions with us. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you were keeping count, that is a total of 10 quests done. So, if you were um, paying attention to like the quests that we've done before, we uh, did 40 by the time we beat the main story of the game, and this is an additional 10. There are 60 quests in total. So next time on Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, I'm going to complete the last remaining 10 quests in the game. So, yeah, that's going to be exciting. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. See you all next time for some more Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. Later!